Hello guys, I'm here to teach you how to root your Umi Digi S2 like I promised y'all to show you. Um, it's been about two months that I did it and I think it's time that I do it again. So, um, we're going to go ahead and do that again. So what you want to gonna, gonna do, what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to download all this right here. Boom, 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 boom. Um, I don't know about this, I never did it. Back up in VRAM. Um, I don't think you, for me, I didn't need to do it, but... If you really feel like you need to, go ahead and you see that tutorial on how to do it. Um, first, you're going to need to go to... I'm going to put this link in a thread. The Umi Digi uh, blog thread. Um, go ahead and get the ROM and get the SP Flash tool from here. Uh, damn, this is about the same thing as the other one. Both of these are the same thing. Okay, so you can get it all like... You can get like this from here or the VCOM from here. I, guess, I don't even think it matters. But like, just get the VCOM, you know what I'm saying, get it, download it, boom. I got mine from here, though. If you get yours from here, go down here. The VCOM is in Android file host. It's all the way at the bottom, right there. That's where VCOM is. Get that one if you haven't got it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to where I'll, I'll put all the downloads at. I'm sorry, guys. I made like two tutorials beforehand. I failed in both of them, so I just want to kind of get to the point where you guys won't be wasting you guys' time. Uh, so these right here, you should have all these files downloaded. Uh, I got the two raw files extracted up here. Uh, don't obviously don't extract that, and don't even try to extract the image file. Um, so you're gonna want to do this. You're gonna want to uh, open it up, but you're gonna see it's gonna fail the first time. So what you're gonna want to do for that. Is you're gonna to want to go to settings, update security, recovery, advanced startup. I'm gonna show you guys here anyway. I might as well. Shoot, you guys. I don't want you guys having any questions about this. Um, while it's doing that, I'm gonna show you guys. I do have root on here. That is Rias Grimmery. Funny anime. If you haven't watched it, High School DxD. Uh, this is root right here. Boom, root does work um so you want to go to here when it starts up advanced options startup settings start into startup settings this is like the simplest way and there's another way where you got to type into the terminal but that is just that's doing too much this is like the easiest way press f7 to disable driver signature enforcement this will all go away after you um if you after you restart again. Um boom. Or at least that's what I, that's what I read. I hope it does go away. I mean if it doesn't then I'll figure it, I'll come back to this tutorial and add on to it. But I'm pretty sure it does. Um boom, there you go. It should work now. This should work. Go to wherever you download those files at. First, want to install the our uh, yeah install the drivers from the app. I know this Chinese stuff looks sketch as hell. Believe me, I thought it was like dang. I'm over here like I never seen nothing look like this before, but it turns out it's actually legit. We actually need it for this. So. Vcom driver, install that. It's not gonna do anything to you because this is this is signature, it's not signature stuff from Google, but it's not gonna do anything to your computer. Uh, you want to install the other one too? Install both. You want both of these? Finish. Good to go. So what you want to do, what you're gonna want to do now is um, SP Flash tool. This is like so easy, to, guys. This is like really easy to do this to your phone. Um, you can't back up anything right now for your Umi Digi S2, but if you really want to root it, you have to. You're gonna have to. I think you have to factory reset. Uh, yes, you actually are gonna have to factory reset. Um, I can't remember if it comes before or after. 
Uh, but I think it is after maybe. No, I think it's beforehand. I'm gonna do either way. I'm gonna factory reset it, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm just factory reset. If it doesn't work the first time, then I know it's after. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go down to the actual app wherever it is. The Flash Tool app, which is right here, Flash Tool. Forgive my crappy camera. I know it kind of sucks right now. Um. So you want to go to download. You want to choose the scatter file. Go to where you unzip the or unrar the ROM. The scatter file, and there's what you need. That's all you need from it. Um. Uncheck everything. You only want to check the recovery. And what you want to do for recovery is you want to click on uh, the location. Now we want to go to where you downloaded it. And we digi S2 image, which is the recovery, by the way. This is CWM Carlev recovery or something like that. You want to do that. Boom. Um, your phone. You're going to want to turn it off when you do this. Hold on. First thing you want to do is uh, give me a second to get my cord plugged in here. Okay. So I have this plugged in now. So what you're going to have to do is, uh, yep, file transfer matrix for transferring files. Um, go to your computer and transfer that. Copy the super SU to the S2. Like on an SD card would probably be the better choice because that's it. That's what I'm going to put it at. I think I might already got it. Yep, I already got it on here. So uh, I'm just going to copy this one anyway. I think that might be the updated version. Or is it the same? Nope, nope. It's not the same thing. Oh, well. S I mean, SU is SU. That's all it's for everything. Um, either way, make sure you download a copy of your SD card. Not not to your internal memory because you have to, you have to factory reset in. You're going to lose it if you do that. So now what you want to do, unplug it, turn it off, make sure it's fully turned off. Power off here. It's going to vibrate when it's off to let you know it's fully done. Then make sure you go here, make sure you click on location. And only have it's important. Dang, come on now. It's important to only have recovery checked. That's the only thing. That's important to have that checked. Only thing that should be checked right now. Make sure you went to Umi Digi S2, the image that you downloaded from that one web, from the website, Android file host, and make sure that that's as location set. Um, after this is done turning off, you're going to want to plug up the cord again. Sorry, hold on. Give me a second here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. First, you want to hit download. I'm over here messing up. You want to hit download first. Boom. When it's download, hit. And plug in the cord. You're going to see it at the bottom. That's how you know it works. Boom. See that? You have to make sure you install both of those drivers that I talked about earlier. Because if you don't install it, you're not going to be able to get download mode to work. You got to make sure you do that. So make sure you disable the driver signature and get those two installed. So now, what you want to do is you want to reboot and recovery. So first of all, uh, this is going to be kind of a hard to do. Uh, you want to turn it on, the volume up, and the power button. Volume up and power button. I can't do this right. I'm just having so many problems here. Hold on. Unplug it first. Okay. 
Now let's do this again. Volume up and power button. Now, when you see that Umi Digi sign, release the power button and keep, I mean, release the, yeah, release the power button and hold the volume up button still. And you should get to Car Live Recovery, CWM, which is right here, thanks to the guys who made it. It's just kind of stupid because it's like upside down. So it's like the form would normally be like this, but you gotta flip it all the way over just to. It still works though. I don't know. I can't fix that because I have no idea how to build recovery. I tried plenty of times and just failed so many. In case I want to see something comes will be stable here. Boom. As you can see, you got the usual options. Uh, damn, if it can actually focus. At the top it says reboot phone, but you can't see it. So what you want to do is you want to go to install zip using the volume buttons. Sorry about this again, because I know this is, this is so bad quality. Boom. Choose zip from external SD, not SD card. Go to whichever one it is. Boom. Yeah, uh, no. Don't hit, don't hit yes. Or yes, yes. Install it. I'm sorry. Looking at the wrong thing. Install it. Boom. It should be starting to like mine. I think, I believe you you should, you have to factory set after this, I believe. Because if you don't factory set, it's not going to work. Um, you, so a factory set is a must after you get done installing root. You must factory set. So what you want to do is go to white menu. Uh, first option is factory set, so go ahead and do that. Yes, wipe all data. It's not going to boot, you know what I'm saying, if you don't factory reset, so you have to do it. Make sure to factory reset and you'll be okay. I do apologize for this garbage video. Oops, you don't have to do that again. Uh, go back. Reboot phone. No. For here, when it tells you root is access is missing, it's not. It's not missing. Do not hit root device. Because that's going to put you in a boot loop. And then you have to redo all this all over again. It's not worth it. So let it reboot. Um, if it stays at Umi Digi sign, that means you got to redo it again. Because that means you did something incorrect. <clears throat> so it didn't. It went past Umi Digi sign. Went to Android. When it goes to Android, you're most likely in the clear. And you should. It should restart. With root. As soon as it actually loads up, I don't know how long this is about to take. I won't waste your guy, I'll just fast forward it. It actually didn't take that long. It's like as soon as I paused it, it decided to turn on. So, there you go. Boom. Welcome. Skip past all this for me because I don't need it. Skip anyway. Skip. Oops. No thanks. I'm about to restore my backup anyway, so I don't need to do all this. Okay, so when you get into here, um, root will be here somewhere. Where is it? Did I restore a backup of this? Oh, so that's what happened. Okay, I know what happened here. Hold on, hold on. There must be something I did wrong here because this shit installed root. So I did all this for what? To install nothing like it was supposed to be in here? So what I did was factory reset it and didn't install root. Amazing. Okay, but that, that shouldn't happen to you guys, but it happened to me. Um, sometimes you got to do it more than once for it to actually work right. So I'm going to try this crap again. Uh, I think I push restart. This phone is like a pain to deal with sometimes. Uh, so it was the other way. I think maybe you had to factory reset before. Sometimes it works both ways. It's just sometimes you gotta play with the thing just to make it work right. And it's just I know it's a pain, guys. I'm sorry. Let me reboot back into recovery again. I'll 